In developing and bringing out the brightness of flowers, another technique, San Togjun, is employed. Flowers produced using this technique have a strikingly realistic quality. It's almost as if it was possible to smell the fragrance of the flowers. In more highly decorative embroidery works, a skill called Luanjun is employed. The Luanjun technique produces results that appear chaotic in their form, but not in their soul. Clusters of Luanjun stitches punctuate the silk fabric, and what's left are landscapes of trees or reeds. In combination, the various stitching techniques can produce variations of light and shade. For example, smooth flowing lines can evoke a sense of relaxation, while tangled lines create a sense of freedom and dynamism. Shoe embroidery is often composed of changing combinations of stitching techniques. The needles leading their threads seem to dance in the craftsman's hands, creating beautiful and picturesque embroidery works. From delicate thread splitting to hundreds of stitching techniques, shoe embroidery craftsmen have been making vivid embroidery works since ancient times. The common themes in traditional shoe embroidery are religion, love, wealth, family harmony, and longevity. Other popular themes are Sichuan's unique hibiscus flower, carp, giant pandas, and bamboo forests. Sichuan is home to the giant panda, and in shoe embroidery, this national treasure is traditionally depicted as a cuddly creature. The techniques of shoe embroidery have developed and been refined with time, and the themes have been changing constantly. Shoe embroidery is capable of imitating not only traditional Chinese painting, but also paintings on canvas. In this studio, the embroidery works depict not only the landscapes, flowers and birds typical of traditional Chinese paintings, but also the type of portraits seen in modern oil paintings. An embroidery named Dancer is a copy of a painting by the famous artist Chun Yifei. The craftsman used complex stitching techniques to bring out the essence of the painting. She's instilled a vivid and dynamic quality in the dancer's beautiful dancing and flowing dress. A recent major development and innovation in the traditional shoe embroidery techniques has been the borrowing of skills from Western oil painting. A portrait of Napoleon Bonaparte is typical of Western oil paintings in this style. As a shoe embroidery, it acquires a unique charm. Shoe embroideries can be large or small highly delicate and complex, and hence aesthetically appealing, or simple and hence suitable for practical use. In the Sichuan Hall at the Great Hall of the People in Beijing, there is a large embroidery, hibiscus flower and carp, which, in its techniques and theme, is a typical example of shoe embroidery. Today, Shoe embroidery works are regularly given as national gifts, conveying a message of friendship from China's leaders to distinguished guests from other countries. During the torch relay prior to the Beijing Olympic Games, the fire phoenix design on the torchbearer's clothes was based on a piece of shoe embroidery.
The shoe embroidery that inspired the designer is currently housed at the Three Gorges Museum. It is a gold-embroidered dragon and phoenix robe from the Ming Dynasty. In 2006, designer Hung Hai from the Beijing Olympic Committee Torch Relay Center happened to see the robe. The phoenix, so-called drawn, with a needle instead of a brush, inspired him. And so, a fire phoenix was born, which introduced the ancient art of shoe embroidery to the whole world.